Welcome to Designer Digital's bi-weekly tip, April 25, 2014. This week, blending an image into the background with the Pattern Stamp tool in Photoshop or Photoshop Elements. There are a number of ways to blend an image into the background with Photoshop and Elements. Here's one method that makes use of the Pattern Stamp tool. Begin by opening a background and an image in Photoshop or Elements. Select the Image Document to make it the Active Document, and then choose Edit, Define Pattern from the menu bar. When the Pattern Name box populates, give your image a name and click OK. Next, select the Background Image. Create a new transparent layer by clicking the Create a New Layer icon in the Layers panel. It looks like a little post-it note with a turned up edge. This puts a transparent layer on the top of your background. Select this new transparent layer in the Layers panel, and then get the Pattern Stamp tool. Now, this tool hides under the Clone Stamp tool in the Tool panel. I'm going to switch to Elements for a minute to show the recent changes in the program. In Elements, you're going to click the Clone Stamp tool, and then look down in the Options bar and click on the Pattern Stamp tool. From here, you'll choose a brush. You can either use a soft round brush, or a grunge brush, or a paint stroke brush, or any other brush that you want, depending on the look that you want to achieve. For the sample, I've chosen a soft round brush with fuzzy edges. Leave the opacity set to 100% and the mode to normal. Now I'll switch back to Photoshop to finish the tutorial. In Photoshop, when you choose the Pattern Stamp tool, the options will be across the top of the screen. So choose a fuzzy round brush, or any other brush that you plan to use, and for the time being, leave the mode set to normal, opacity to 100%. Now you'll choose your pattern from the Pattern drop-down menu. Because you've just defined it, it will be the last one in the Pattern Picker. Begin painting on the new transparent layer by clicking or clicking and dragging. Be careful to avoid the edges of the image so that you don't get a straight line like this. If you get a straight line, just undo and then keep painting. Switch to the Move tool. Make sure that Auto Select or Auto Select Layer is selected in the Options bar. Move your painted image into position wherever you'd like to have it on the page. You can resize it at this point as well by using the corner handles. Now blend the painted image into the background by reducing the opacity of the layer. You'll find the opacity slider at the top right corner of the Layers panel. Dragging the slider to the left reduces the opacity. Alternatively, you could leave the opacity at 100% and change the blending mode. Try a blending mode like Overlay or Soft Light for the best results. Your image will fade into the background and create a subtle effect on your page. Thanks for watching and be sure to check back in two weeks for the next Designer Digital's tip.